Am I lying? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and we're live. I'm doing live on the actual YouTube this time, so it's different and I'm not quite sure. I don't usually do it this way. Am I lying? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and we're live. I'm doing live and I'm not quite sure. I don't usually do it. Am I lying? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and we're live. I'm doing live and I'm not quite sure. I don't usually do it. Y'all all hear me because something weird just happened. But y'all let me know in the comment. But I'm just going to say the hello to who I see in the comment section. I see Martha. Hey, Martha. Hey, Anna. Rebecca. Uh, Persida. Sheila. Anna. Dewana. All right, is anybody seeing this in me right now? Because I don't know what's going on. Y'all, give me thumbs up, something. Heart emojis if y'all see this. If y'all can hear this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, and I'm also... The screen keeps going black, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, so y'all can see me. I don't know why it the screen keeps timing out like if, uh, I don't know. But um, I downloaded the Nightbot thing, and it seems like it's thinking that y'all are spamming, and I don't know how to stop that. Thank you, Sheila. Okay. And also, y'all can see my messy room behind me. But anyway, we hit 2,000 subscribers last night. I was... Last night, we hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. So if y'all have not seen the video that I put out today, there is a giveaway on that video. So y'all check out the giveaway. And um, it is for everybody, international viewers, any and everybody. Kathy, you got the night bot, sh bot, the night bot shouting at you? Okay, y'all. I don't know how to... I'm going to have to go into the uh, website and change some things with the night bot, but... I don't know how he worked. I just tried it. Um, let's see. Okay. I don't know if I like going live like this. I'm trying something new, but I don't think I like it. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Martha. Thank you for everybody telling me congrats on 2000. I'm so excited because for the thousand of y'all that were here whenever I was getting to a thousand subscribers it was um it was a deal and I was so excited to get to a thousand that was like my main goal I kind of I wanted to be monetized I wanted to be monetized of course so a thousand was like that milestone but hitting two thousand like I didn't think it would happen like that this soon after hitting a thousand so I'm just ready to keep going up 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 hey Karen Yo, some I don't know why the screen keeps timing out on um on this live. I don't know, something is not right with it. But I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Thank you, Martha. I actually did nothing with it. Yo, uh Martha is talking about my hair. Um, I'm actually, I went to Sally's today and got some dye and uh, some bleach and some dye because my hair used to be purple and it faded to red and then I dyed it all black and now it's like you can see some of the black fading and you can see um, 
some of the red comes through a little bit well i'm gonna try to go ahead and bleach it and go back like a purpley red nikel y'all have thunder lightning rain hail and snow going on right now girl thunder lightning rain and hail what the what lisa says your content is excellent especially so sample roulette also your personality is so nice. thank you lisa i like i'm i'm so proud of the so sample roulette and um for all that's here i'm sorry that y'all could actually see the next so sample roulette in the background but the video is coming out tomorrow y'all see it tomorrow too um let's see who's a wonderful guy i missed something oh the guy who sews sean we love sean sean is great he is so sweet, y'all. After my last live, he emailed me and asked me if I needed help with um, some of the live stuff so that I can have um, guests on my channel. And I'm probably going to end up taking him up on that help because, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. My daughter used to dye, my, Rebecca, my daughter used to dye my hair. Whenever she did hers, the color was fun, but I don't like how the bleach acts like a relaxer. It was weird. Oh, really? When I, the kids are fighting in the background, I could hear it. Uh, when I used to bleach my hair, my hair was relaxed back in the day. So um, when I went natural, I didn't bleach, start bleaching until I started locks, which has been like 11 years. Um, and I don't know if I'm seeing y'all comments in real time or if there's a delay or not, because I usually never... Do it this way. I know with StreamYard, there is always a delay. So, that's that. Um, and I don't know. I don't. Something's not working right with this. All right. Let's see what else is going on. All right. So... Y'all give me one second. I'm trying to figure something out. This is what happens when you don't get stuff together before you go on live. Okay. Oh, in other news, I don't know if Paula is in here, Paula Chase. But Paula gave me my first super chat today. I've never had super chat. I had no idea how that works. But um, Paula gave me my first super chat today. I was so excited. So I pinned her comment up in on uh, the video. It was in my 2,000 subscribers uh, video. Thank you, Paula. Thank you so much. Rebecca, you haven't relaxed your hair since you cut it all off. Best decision ever. Look, I'm pretty sure it's so easy. When my hair was short, it was the easiest thing in the universe. I kind of sometimes think about that. <laughs> uh, Yeah, Martha, I, I, that was my first time. I don't even know how it works. Like, I don't know how I even get it. I just know that I got a, um, a notification saying I got a super chat. I was like, what? I've never had one of those before. Sheila says, you are real and it makes you relatable. Thank you, Sheila. Y'all are real. Y'all keep it real. That's why I like um, asking y'all opinions and stuff. Because, like, when I do my soul sample unboxings, y'all keep it real in the comment section. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Jacqueline. All right, y'all. I have a couple things I want to show y'all today. Um, mostly, I have not been doing a whole lot. I have been, I did complete my month one for the sew along slash stitch along. So that video, I still haven't edited it, edit, it, edited it. So that'll come out Sunday, I think. I think I want it to come out Sunday. Um, 
so y'all will see the blocks that I did for that. I still am working on the stitch, but um, I'll show how far I got on that. And then I'll update throughout the month on the stitch. Thank you, Samantha. And um, yeah, so I've been working on that. And I've been working on So Simple Roulette, which I finished So Simple Roulette like a week ago. I just hadn't edited the video. So, but that video is already scheduled to come out tomorrow. Other than that, I do have two things that I started, two projects that I started. Like, I'm in the mood to start new stuff, so i just been, like, pulling out uh, patterns. But I do want to show y'all some new stuff. Sheila, be real about the cross-stitch finish. What's, what, what's up? Anna says, I can't wait to see the SAL. I've had a super busy week, a migraine, so I haven't so much. Oh, no, Anna, I hope your migraine passes. All day today, I've been having a migraine. I've been in bed. We're supposed to go um, to our homeschool co-op today, me and the kids. And Kamani wasn't feeling well this morning, so um, we didn't go and good thing because i had a headache all day uh sheila you forgot to stitch the other fence oh sheila i know <laughs> i know uh when i do my monthly stitches i happen to do that a lot because um i'm really just wanting to finish them but if i leave stuff out i do not even be bothered about it but i know that i forgot to stitch the other fence um Lisa, I love it when I get start in a starting mood. That's often the hardest part for me. Oh, really? Starting is the easiest part. Y'all, y'all know I never know my lighting. Starting is the easiest part um, for me because I love starting new projects, but I need to be finishing everything. She leave forgot bits before too. Actually, I saw that I forgot it before I even finished it. I just didn't feel like doing the other side. So I was like, you know what? This is for me, my house. I don't care. Rebecca says I was exhausted after doing that shop hop this week. I'm sure you were. That was a lot. But I was thinking of doing a video of my home. Do it. Do it. I want to see everything you got. I know you, sh you told me about a lot of stuff, but I want to see it. So out here in Austin area, Austin, um... In San Antonio area, there was the Blue Bonnet Shop Hop. And I went to two of the shops, but Rebecca finished. She went to all of them. Me and Kamani did too. Joe Kelly. Hey, hi, Joe. Can't stay long. Sweetie wants me to watch bowling with him. What we do for love? <laughs> bowling? Really? That's interesting. Rebecca, we love the whole. How many shops, Rebecca? I think it was like six or seven of them, huh? I have the passport right here. I can't show y'all the other side because they have my personal info on it. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were eight shops in Ron Rock, Buda, Bandera, Luling. Where is that, uh, Rebecca? Bandera, Luling, or Lulling? I don't know. Austin, San Antonio, San Antonio, and San Antonio. So I guess most of them were in San Antonio. And to, it finishes tomorrow. So if you're in the area, in the uh, San Antonio, Austin area, you should go to some of them. Yeah, eight, Rebecca. Hey, Teresa. Really, where is Bandera South? Like uh, San Antonio in that direction? Southwest, Luling and Southeast. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all this quilt that I started. Um, and I'm going to tell y'all about the, the creator of the pattern, too. So this is the Rosalia quilt. I mostly liked it because of all of the colors. I love the colors of this. So I really, I don't have the exact colors that... um. 
that she quilted that she did use but i kind of matched a little bit because it's all solids i've never done an all solid quilt i don't think i don't think i have and i wanted to do all solids with all these beautiful colors right now i'm in the mood for color 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 so i only did one block but this is the block that i did the first block and i think her background was like a light blue and i used the white in my background but um this is it. Yeah, Rebecca, we waiting on that shop hop video. So this is the first block that I did. I can't wait to get into some more of it because I did pull all my fabrics for it. I didn't cut yet, everything yet, but this is all the fabrics that I'm going to be using for it. And it's just the colors just got me. It's not the exact colors, but. And, oh yeah, so the pattern is by Suspicious. This was a free pattern, I think. Was it free? I don't think I paid for this. I think this is a free pattern. Did I pay for it? I don't know. But the, uh, the pattern is written by, and I don't know how to pronounce her name, Vakiti Plybon. Uh, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it right here. Vakiti, Vakiti, Plibon, Plibon. But she is Dominican. This is a picture of her. And I've, I've been following her on Instagram for a while. And when she posted pictures of this, I knew I wanted to do it. So I think the pattern is free if anybody wants to do it. Check her out on Instagram, so spacious. I don't know if she has a channel, actually. I've never even looked. I've always followed her on Instagram, but I've never checked to see if she had a YouTube. I don't think she does, though. I don't know. So that's been kind of one of the things I've been working on. I do have another one that's going to be a different from anything that I've done. Um, and y'all let me know. Am, am I blurry? Am I blurry? Cam, Cameron, yeah. can you stick your hand in and turn the light on? Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let me type her name. Suspicious. When I type her into YouTube too, I don't see anything. So don't think she have a channel. Okay, the lighting is better. Y'all never know mine, all my junk in the back. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Hi, Sojo, Mary, Mary Jo. I think <laughs> I hope I got that right. Anna, you want that? I'm not talking about all this junk. I'm talking about bags and bins of trash. Oh gosh. I just um was taking things out of bags that we got from the craft thrift and I guess I left stuff about on accident. Okay, good. I got it. Mary Jo. All right. Do y'all hear Kamani? She's like literally just humming. Okay, so the next uh, thing. Martha, is your middle name really Joe? Are you really a Martha to Joe? That would be cool and cute. Um, You can't hear Keonce. <laughs> y'all, I have, I, I have, um. A video came up on my t my memories on Facebook today for Kamani dancing at this uh, wedding party that we went to. And uh, so then I started flipping and there were so many dancing and singing videos of Kamani. And I thought about making like a compilation video. 
because it's just it's too cute and it's all when she was younger she's been like a performer her whole life her whole little seven years of life i should take my picture of my mess and post it to the group you will never think yours is messy y'all don't see everything like oh, my mess is low i keep my mess low so that uh when i record y'all can't see it but there's a mess there's a mess all right so I keep losing track of what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. The quilt that I'm going to do that I'm starting. Hey, Kathleen, you made it, girl. Uh, the quilt that I'm going to start doing is all applique. And I've never done applique. No, I've done applique. Uh, but in a very small scale. Like uh, that YouTube play button that I made right there for a thousand subscribers. That's applique. That's probably the most applique I've ever done. But, um... This quilt is all applique, but I wish I had a picture of the actual quilt because I didn't print the front page of the quilt. But the uh, it's a mandala quilt made by Freebird Designs on Instagram. And it's an Australia-based company. But I had to go and get it all printed on these uh, huge papers because... The way that she had it done, it had to be printed on um, legal size paper. And I didn't have any. So uh, it's all printed on here. So I wish I can show it to y'all. Let me see if I could pull it up and just show it on my computer. It's called Mandala. Mandala. Wait, no. Mandalightful. Oh gosh. Let's see if I can pull up a picture, y'all. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I hope y'all can see this. Oh. Lisa Cape and Quills has so many videos on applique. If you want some help, I'll check it out for sure. So I kind of want to do it probably in almost the same color uh, way. I don't know if exactly the same, but I like that, that rainbow going out. So I went, I was having trouble printing it the right size on my, on my computer. I was trying to see if I could make it the right size on regular paper, but I couldn't. So I had to send it off to Office Depot and get it printed out. So these are all the the templates. And then I have to like tape all the pieces so I could do like a, a coloring of it. But then after I got it printed, I traced it on plastic and made all of the, um, I traced it on plastic and made all of the little templates. Mary Jo, you're not a fan of applique? I guess I'm about to find out if I'm a fan of applique. I don't know if I am or not. Um, so, yeah. I bought, I have these. I didn't buy them for this, but I already had them for patterns. Uh, because this is the chopping mats at the Dollar Tree. I use this... This is what it looks like outside, and it's like a plastic. Uh, I use this for my pattern for, like, my uh, memory bears, just because it's a pattern that I use all the time. So if you put it on the plastic, it lasts long. So I did all my little applique pieces on it. Teresa says, what did you think I was going forever? No, how do I... Yo, Nightbot is deleting some of y'all messages. How do I stop him? I don't like that. Nightbot is going to have to get fired. Don't talk to me, okay, sorry, y'all, if Nightbot messes with y'all. Uh, Sheila, I'm doing raw edge. I don't think I have the patience for turned edge. I'm doing raw edge. I'm just going to try to stitch 
as closely to the edges excuse me try to stitch as closely to the edges as possible because i don't want them to fray too much but <laughs> martha nightbot is gonna have to get the boot the bot is gonna have to get fired i don't know how to fire him yet he's here for now but next time he's gone i thought i was being fancy with nightbot <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Humber, maybe glue first. Um, I'm gonna use heat and bond type stuff. Uh, if you use hot fix adhesive or something similar, that'll help with the frame. Is a uh, hot fix adhesive is that like heat and bond? Because I have heat and bond, and that's what I um, how I take his wrench away. I don't know how to do that. Oh, look, I think I removed him as a Nightbot is no longer a moderator. We got rid of Nightbot. <laughs> Heat and bond light will help. Okay. I don't know what kind I have, but I'm going to have to check or I'm going to have to get some more. And I saw some Heat and bond at the craft thrift and I didn't buy it because it wasn't the kind that I usually see. So I didn't know. I should have just got it. <laughs> Martha, do you use Nightbot? I think Sean uses Nightbot. That's what I th why I think I chose to use it. I <laughs> I'm going to try fusible webbing. Oh, for applique? Really? Uh, really? Oh, is it fusible on both sides? Oh, like Stitch Witch? I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. You have to use light if you're sewing with it on your machine. Oh, okay. You see, Rebecca? I should just ask you. You know all this. <laughs> Bye, not bot. Night bot. He's gone. It attacked me too. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Night bot was in the mix. I need one of. I need some of y'all to be my moderators. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> I need real moderators. I don't need moderators. I've never had any problems in my life. But you know, never know. I haven't gone live. Oh, that's true, uh, Martha. You you need to go live. Whatever the stuff that's fusible on both sides. Okay. I know. Uh, you gonna do Thursdays, Teresa? Heat and bond is uh, dual sided. It is great. Martha says more info to come on going live on Thursdays. Good, good, good. <laughs> no, Rebecca, nothing has happened. I'm I'm grateful that I haven't had any weird stuff. I think I had one weird guy came in one time. But then that's like I'm kind of offended that the weirdos are not coming. Why the weirdos don't want to come here? All right, so that's that on that that project that I have. This is all I've done was cut the pieces out because I just got the stuff printed out yesterday. So I got to do some fabric pulling for that. I think that is going to be so much fun. Have I thought of using fancy thread for the applique? What kind of fancy thread? Let me know because I want to use all the fancy stuff. You need moderators because your channel is growing. The bigger you get, the more you need them. Well, who wants to be a moderator? Because, look, y'all are the ones that need to be moderators. Y'all are here. Uh, Teresa, I've been working on the Shine On B last piece. Yes. And um, the video that I recorded, who said we're the, we're the weirdos? That's why no new ones are coming. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, the B, Teresa. The B. I can show y'all my B. Um, I recorded the video and I did discuss in the video um, about the B not being too beginner friendly. But um, this is my B. It's not beginner friendly. So I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of worried about the beginners in the group that... Um, 
that I was encouraging to join in on the solo loan because now I'm worried if they're going to feel like it's too much because the first month they dropped the B on us. Yes, Teresa, I got the B done. Wait, why is not Nightbot back? Why is Nightbot back? He don't go away? Okay, I'm going to have to delete him altogether. <laughs> Martha, you're a weirdo too? I don't know what's going on with Nightbot. All right, yeah, so I did get the B done. It was, uh, these pieces were tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, but other than that, Sue, I think you should try, try the B and it'll let you know if you want to keep going. But the B looks like one of the harder blocks in the book. If I look at the, the, the book, I don't see where any of the other blocks have, I don't know. I'm just looking at the front of the book. And I'm trying to see if there's any other blocks where I think will have super small pieces like the B. I don't know. I'm not seeing it, y'all. What do y'all let me know? The house might have some small blocks. And um Martha, your spamming. <laughs> the night boss said Martha's spamming spamming. <laughs> Keep doing it, Martha. <laughs> yeah, so Sue, try just maybe just try the B. See, you know, go slow with it. These are the smallest part. It's um the only other thing about it that may be tricky for uh beginners is that it's set on point the inside. You put it together on point. So there's a lot of the little dog ears that can kind of confuse you if you don't realize just like every, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like some of the triangles, when you put them up together, the triangle, it'll fit like this. There'll be some points that won't go all the way to the end of the next piece. Like this piece will be this length and then this triangle will be this length and it has to line up like this. It's hard to explain, but once you get it together, it's not bad. Hey, Regina. Keep going, Martha. <laughs> break night. Just go on and break night, but. <laughs> Love it. Nightbot will not be here next week. If I could remember, I have a bad memory. He might be here next week. That's true, Anna. Anna says uh, maybe beginners can come back to him after doing some of the other blocks for practice. That's right. Save the B for later. I mean, or honestly, if you just don't want to even tackle this B at all, um, do another another block that measures the same. Add whatever you want in there. Like, you don't have to do it exactly as it's written. You don't have to do anything exactly as anything is written, really. So, I mean... The B measures, I think, like 15, 15 by 15 or 14 and a half. I don't know. I don't even know if mine is the correct size. Just add another block in. Do a, do a simple block. Nightbot would hate Twitch. The comments are 95% emojis. <laughs> Karen, they dropped the B on us. Yeah, Karen... Uh, I don't know why they came up, why that one was first, but they did. I, I love the B. The B was, the B wasn't that bad, but I know for, um, for some beginners, it might be, it's intimidating. It can be intimidating and I don't like small pieces. So once I cut out those little pieces that were like an inch, I was like, oh my God. And the width wasn't even an inch wide. But it wasn't bad. Kathleen, you're not making the B? 
just put something else there. Like, forget the bee. Martha, you got bee emojis too? I didn't even know there was a bee emoji. emoji. I cut the bee out first because there were so many pieces. I knew I would get tired of that. Yeah, Anna. Yeah. I think for me, the, the fun part um, about the fabrics right now is that I'm, because I'm kind of just pulling as I go and doing it scrappy, I'm enjoying pulling fabrics and cutting the fabrics because it's different. I'm not using the same fabrics. I have the cross stitch all kitted up. Oh yeah, Kathleen. I started mine. I didn't finish with the first month yet, but I did start it. So what are y'all doing this weekend? Tomorrow in Austin, there's the kite festival. We thought about going. Cameron is not really wanting to go because she don't like the heat and being outside. But I think I might force her. I don't know. Uh, Regina says, so Crystal, are you going to try to match the fabric, fabric colors as much as possible? Yes, I am doing that because I do like the colorway. I thought about doing a second version in like bright colors and kind of just going wild with it. But I don't know if I'm going to stress myself out with doing two at the same time. Anna says we have a tornado warning. Got to go. Oh, bye, Anna. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Kathleen, I might just make the Camille's beehive quilt. Oh, really? What? Nightbot is coming after you, Teresa. Hang on, Anna. Get to a safe place. Yes, please do. She's safe, Anna. Rebecca says, I'm working on a video this weekend, apparently. Yes, you are. We want to know about the shop hop. Sheila says, can't drop it as low as I used to, but hey. Wait, what are we dropping? What's going on? Are we dropping it low? I missed something. I definitely missed something. And Martha, your knees are bad. What's going on? What I miss? Who dropping it low? Yeah, Re yeah, Rebecca. Tomorrow's April 1st. I have a countdown to tax day. Almost done. Uh, I did taxes last night. Last night, night before last, we did our taxes. Hate them. Karen, get hard is over first. Yes, yes, yes. Sheila, I'm doing. Ha, ha. Sheila, I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all dropping it like it's uh, hot. Y'all dropping it low to the flow. I don't know what's going on. We're dropping the B. Kathy says, my son's birthday tomorrow going out to lunch. Ooh. Tell your son we say happy birthday. You got to do the bend and what is it called? You keep your legs straight for that. No knee bends. The bend. What? <laughs> no knee bends. What you been over? With? How you been over with no knees? You got to do the bend. Oh, I'm reading the same thing over. Martha says, everyone span the bot in five, four, three, two, one. One, spam the bot. Bend and snap. Yeah. Legally blonde, bend and snap. <laughs> okay. I caught up, y'all. Bend and snap. I get it. <laughs> Wait. Nightbot said, come on, bruh. Stop spamming. Spamming. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Rebecca says, come on, bro. I'm sorry. 
Stop spamming with caps. What? Ah, uh, much better. Hey, Alina. It's our church's general conference this weekend. Oh, okay. Have fun. Kathleen's <laughs> the clown emoji. Do I go back and read the comments? No, I don't. <laughs> it's too much. Martha, you having a real beef with the butt. Oh, shoot. Dang, I just look at the directions for the B3 pages. <laughs> yeah. The B. And typing all, Kathleen said typing all caps. The bot don't like that either. Y'all gonna, the bot is gonna, he gonna quit. He just gonna quit. Can I hide the bot? What does it say? Oh, no, it's asking me to hide Kathleen. No, we don't want to do that. Karen, I'm working on that stupid dinosaur quilt until I die. <laughs> Karen, you're almost done. How are you quilting it? Are you almost? Aren't you almost done? Martha, he did start it. He did start it. <laughs> now, y'all made Nightbot a thing. Now Nightbot has to stay. He'll be back next week. <laughs> He'll be back. Now he's a thing. He's part of the channel. We can't get rid of Nightbot. <laughs> Martha says, I need this tonight, y'all. Me too. This is the highlight of my little day. Kathy, got a quilt back for the long armor. Got to put the binding from the long arm. Got to put the binding. Oh, you got the quilt back from the long arm. Got to put the binding. Y'all, I love binding. I don't like attaching it. I like hand sewing it, though. Nightbot needs a t-shirt. It was a rough week at work, but I did celebrate my 18 years. It went away. My 18 years at work on Wednesday. Oh, well, congrats for 18 years. And I hope next week is not as rough. What do you do, Martha? If you don't mind. Kathy says, Gina tell... Wait. Gina tell did it. So pretty. She posted it on IG. Gina Tell. I don't know Gina Tell. It sounds familiar though. I've been, I'm gonna have to go look. I've been sick this week. Oh, Mary Jo. So I didn't get anything quilted on the long arm. Oh, I hope you feel better. Happy work anniversary, Martha, says Kathleen. I work in the financial sector. Oh, that sounds stressful. Oh. Thread graffiti. What's Thread Graffiti? Is that the name of the quote? Or the name of uh, the Instagram? Oh, she does some... Maybe that's why I heard her name, if she does some of Kimberly's quotes. Regina says, maybe next Friday we should add, what's your choice drink for the night? My kindergartners were climbing. Oh, girl. I almost brought a drink in here, but I forgot to pour it. Friday, next Friday, we come in with, with the wine. And I'm not doing live through uh, YouTube anymore because for some reason my screen keeps going off and I have to keep pressing it. This woman's BB game is close. Oh, the basketball, basketball. Who's playing? I'm sure my husband is watching.
Kathleen says, I took today off and shopped for fabric, got backings for two quilts, oh awesome, and had a 25% off coupon. Then stopped, shopped for magnetic snaps and another 25% off, love it. Y'all went to um random, but today I went to uh, JCPenney because all of their clearance that has the pink tags are an additional 50% off. So it's like buy one, get one free pink tags on clearance. So I got like so many pairs of jeans for me and the girls. My husband got a bunch of different things. We got some t-shirts, a lot of stuff. And I bought, when I say, uh, I don't remember how many pieces of clothes. It was a lot, a lot for under a hundred dollars. My husband went twice. He spent under $20 for like 10 pieces of clothes for himself. LSU versus VA Tech. Yeah, the LSU women are doing good, but they're tied. Martha, you love basketball? Sounds like a good day, Kathleen. Yes, we love sales. Kathleen hit got, got deals. We love the steals and deals. Teresa, you thought JCP closed down? They probably closed some locations down, but we have a uh we have JCPenney. Rebecca, I'm finishing up my February girl gnome from Cotton Guns. Ooh. It's 66 to 62 now, Sheila. LSU up. I'm finishing up my... Oh, wait. I'm reading the same thing twice. Karen says, I'm going to machine quilt it. Not sure what I will start tomorrow. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see it. Teresa, mine too, Martha. Martha's great. Like, good job, Rebecca. Okay. I think I'm caught up on comments. I hate when I miss, uh, miss stuff. Kathleen says, and when I got home, my soul sampler had arrived. But yay. You just got your March. I bought my laptop down so I could watch both. Love it. Love it. Gina quilts, Kimberly Jolly's quilts. So, y'all, I went to, during the Shop Hop situation, I went to one of the quilt stores where they let you rent their long arms and you don't have to take any classes or anything for this uh, particular store. And I talked to the guy about doing it because I think I want to go try to quilt a couple quilts on the long arm. Regina says, hopefully I will have my box number six finished this weekend. I've already started quoting it. Yay, I want to see it. I pulled my next uh, so sampler box, but um, I haven't started working on it at all. Uh... When, who, oh, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Says, when did everyone start quilting? That's a good question. Martha says, 2010. But I didn't really start until the pandemic. Um, Is the place off of Anderson Mill to load your quilt on long arm machine? Yes. Uh, What else did I miss? Mary Jo says, 10 years ago, Rebecca, we went to that store and my husband is all interested in long arming now. Yes, I. when I talked to the lady who helps, I was like, because before I, like, I'm nowhere near buying a long arm. I have nowhere to put that. But um, if I ever would want to consider it, I would, I would like to go try it out. And actually, there was a lady that was doing hers, and it was her first time ever. And she she was, like, almost done with, uh, I don't know how many quilts you could get done in a day. But, well, actually, they told me 
if it's larger quilts you can possibly get two done but it's better to start off with smaller quilts i would want to get at least two done for the price um but i guess you're paying for the knowledge as well it smells like my husband is cooking rebecca uh let's see who else kathy Sheila, I want to do the same at my quilt shop. Have to take the class though. Yeah, the other quilt shop that I was considering, you had to take a class first. And but this one you don't. They teach you right then and there. Uh Rebecca started quilting December 2022. Rebecca, you're so new and you're so good. I've seen some of Rebecca's work, even though she don't post it, I've seen it in person. And she is great. Regina, March 2020 for you. I know a lot of people started in the pandemic. Uh, Kathy says she's been there, very nice people. I love it there. And I've only been, I've been twice in the past few days. And um, they are so sweet. Uh, Kathleen, I started only about five years ago, but mother and aunt quilted, really. Not grandmothers. Nobody in my family quilt ever uh, that I know of quilted. Oh, and to answer that question, I started probably in 2000, maybe 17. I don't know. I started with a t-shirt quilt and then I didn't do anything for a long time. And then I started again a few years later. Okay, I'm missing stuff. I didn't start until the pandemic. Uh, da, 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 da. Sheila says around 2009, I think it was a difficult time for me, so I don't exactly remember all. Oh, did quilting get you through it? Uh, Rebecca, my husband says my we need to kick my son out so we can put a machine in his room. Rebecca, I love how your husband is all into the quilting. He needs to get on with it too because he's into all the things. Kathleen says, I did, but my nice straight stitch machine. Oh, I did what? Buy my nice straight ma stitch machine in February 2020. So, ooh, timing. Yeah. Debbie says, you must like challenges, Martha. Sheila. Thanks, Martha. Hey, Amber. Samantha, I started summer 2020 pandemic. Uh, all the women in my family sew, but only my aunt did quilting. She does art quilts. Ooh. I want to get into doing more um, artistic stuff with the quilting. Uh, Martha says, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I missed something, but okay. Sheila, creating is my safe space. Yes, mine too, Sheila. I have to be creating in some way. And it changes with time. But quilting has stuck. But drawing, painting. Um, what is my kids doing? Uh, Amber says she started in 2017. Hey, Christy. Christy says she started quilting in the late 80s. Wow, you're the vet here. But then stopped until I had kids. I made the dolls quilts in early 2000s. I came back to quilting in November 2021 to make a quilt for my first grandchild. Awesome. I did a quilt for my daughter's baby. Nikhil says, I did a quilt for my daughter's baby doll about 25 years ago. Oh, wow. Just started quilting in the last month if you don't count the doll quilt. We count the doll quilt, Nikhil. Samantha, thank you everyone for sharing with me when you started quilting. I love this community. Yes, the quilting community is the sweetest community. Sweetest, sweetest, sweetest. Alina, you like you like knitting more? Knitting is not my jam. I've I've done it, but it's not my jam. Crocheting is my jam. Crocheting is just like my comfort thing. But quilting I love more. A lot, uh, Christy, a lot has changed. I love the rotary cutter. Was there no rotary cutter back in the day? Rebecca, me and knitting don't get along. Me either, Rebecca. Me and knitting do not get along. Y'all, let me close my blinds so weirdos can't see me.
Did y'all see more of a mess when I got up? Alina says, yes, in teaching myself how to crochet. I always, I feel like um, crocheting is easier than knitting, but maybe because I learned to crochet first. Chrissy, you use scissors? Well, I'm glad you discovered the rotary cutter. Yo, they cooking. It smells good. But I know he's cooking fish, and I don't really want fish. Rotary colors have changed. The selection is better. Rulers, too. Sheila says, my first class, the teacher shop owner wouldn't let us use a rotary cutter. Wow, really? Amber says, I just love quilting. Well, most of the process, I started cross-stitching last year. I just can't do the crochet thing. I have tried. What I learned is that I can't teach, teach, Lord. I can't teach crochet very well because some of the kids, uh, some of my students, they, they're interested in crocheting, even uh, Kamani. But when I try to teach them, I'm not good at teaching crochet. It's like, I guess since I've been doing it since I was a kid, it just comes natural to me, like how to hold the thread. And I don't have to look at my project when I'm crocheting. I could just feel it. And I can't explain that. I can't explain how to feel the crochet. So I'm not good at, I'm not a good teacher for that. Hey, Martha Danielle, Crystal caught us weirdos. She closed her blind. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Nothing. What you need, Bubby? What daddy cooking? Fish. It smells good. It smells delicious, but I don't want it. I want something else. I'm hungry. Tell him make me a snack, please. Daddy's cooking for me or you or Kamani. He's letting us starve. We gonna order panda <laughs> on him. I'm I'm just playing. We're not really ordering. Uh oh. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Martha, y'all y'all the weirdos that I let y'all look in is the other weirdos I got to close the blinds on. Rebecca, I learned to knit first and we just had too many arguments. <laughs> My issue with quilting is cutting up fabric. You would like cotton cuts then, Alina, because everything is cut up already. You should try some of their stuff. Their, um, have you tried it? Their uh, mystery quilts, puzzle mystery quilts, because everything is already cut up. I seen a, a, a quilt kit in one of these quilt stores that was everything was cut up already. And I had never seen it kitted that way besides cotton cuts. Mommy, what do you want to eat? You might have a chance. I don't know. A chance for what? For daddy to cook you food. I don't know. I'm hungry though. Just tell daddy make me a snacky dacky. Tell daddy make me, make me a snacky dacky. I told him that. He said make you what? I don't know. All right. Let's see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Jane. Hi, Jane. Says, I started in the early 80s, but only did about 25 quilts between then and 2020. I'm retired now, so I'm quilting a lot more. Cool. Not but night bot is tipsy. I'm not even paying attention to Nightbot anymore. He's just here. I hope he's not blocking anybody from seeing your comments, though. I learned knitting first, then crochet, Debbie says. I prefer knitting. Really? Rebecca says, you ever watch Mikey on Crochet Crowd? He's a really good teacher. Maybe you can get some tips. I'm going to have to look that up. I never even heard of that. I can maybe play videos for the kids so they can learn that way. Sheila says, what kind of fish? Uh, I don't know. Snapper. Snapper. Uh, Karen, yes, the dog quilt counts. I don't know who said something about dog quilt, but that counts too. Martha, you can try PMQ Clue for free. Oh, yeah, that's true. If anybody, and if you do cotton cuts... Y'all use Martha's name. Uh, she's a um ambassador. Use her name so you can get a free little gift. So Rebecca, that's why when I did my um uh, unboxing of that first cotton quilts, it's because I used Martha's name when I ordered. 
as a her uh like a referral and i got a free gift for that so that's why i got that i know that's a long time ago but it took me a while to realize oh yeah martha they gave you the one with the tulip fabric alina says yes i like cotton cuts yeah everything cut already i do love cutting fabric y'all i do but uh you just can't beat everything just being perfectly cut for you already sheila says is that code for daiquiri oh uh snacky daiquiri no but i would i would love a daiquiri but you know what i cannot get a good daiquiri here like in louisiana and they're so expensive here in louisiana you can go to a daiquiri shop and get a daiquiri for ten dollars maybe cheaper and out here you get a daiquiri you gotta pay darn near darn near twenty dollars and it's not even that strong i wait till i go home martha you have a video on it too yeah y'all check out martha's video uh for the cotton cut um the free the freebie she made who was he made who was that just put it right there what did he make me Oh, tell him I said thank you. Daddy said you love him. Hubby made me a snack. Tell him I love him too. He didn't say that. Yeah, he did. Oh, tell him I said I love him too. Hubby made me a snack. Ritz, cream cheese, and pepper jelly that I made. Oh, Alina, you did the free already? The free cut cut? Oh, and for everybody that's here, if you weren't here at the beginning of the video when I said, um... There's a giveaway going on on my channel. If you go to the last video I posted about, um, it's, I, it's titled, Thanks for Being Here. It's my 2,000 subscriber video. Anyway, there's a giveaway going on on that video, and it's for a $25 Amazon gift card. So if you're international, you can get in on that because I don't have to mail anything. Mommy. What? No, uh, my printer is jammed right now. I have to unjam it. What you trying to print? Oh, uh, I was trying to print my schoolwork. What you? Okay, don't worry about that till I I gotta unjam the printer. Okay. All right. Uh, I even did macrame back in the day. Oh, really? I wanted to do macrame. I might still try. Uh, oh, Rebecca, you was wondering why you didn't get a pen. Sheila. 33.6 seconds LSU up by six. Oh, good. My sister used to manage a place. What kind of place? What are we missing? Rebecca, yep, make a digit a daiquiri at home. Oh, she used to manage a daiquiri place? Make a daiquiri at home. Yeah, I better off make my own daiquiri. Um, Sheila, yes, he's so sweet. Oh, good hubby. He's making up for that little splash of lukewarm water. He gave. Yeah, last time he embarrassed me with that little water. I used to make pepper jelly with the peppers I grew. Yeah, I grew some of these peppers, but I didn't have enough, so I had to buy some. Drive to Georgetown. My daughter works at Frozen Flamingo. They sell daiquiris. I will tell her to look, hook you up. Oh, really? Frozen Flamingo? I never heard of that. If I ever go up there for um, Aldi. Excuse me, y'all. I'm hungry, so I'm about to eat my snack. Oh, Lord, this has turned into a mukbang. Yes, Samantha. As long as you can get Amazon, you can be in this um, giveaway. It's just that if you win, you have to let me know what country you live in so I can buy the right gift card. What is in pepper jelly? It's basically um, peppers. Whatever kind of peppers you use. You can do jalapenos. You can do hab habaneros. Sugar and um vinegar and you gotta cook it cook it down and um pectin to make it jelly and it looks like this and it's delicious with cream cheese on ritz i hope y'all can't hear me chewing i hate that Alina says, I started out doing needlepoint first. I also do latch hooking. 
I tried cross stitching, couldn't get it. I just bought the girls each um, their first latch hook kit. I used to do latch hook, latch hooking as a kid. I hadn't done it in years. But Kamani started hers. She's a starter. She's not a finisher. She starts a lot of projects. Rebecca, mm, I love some pepper jelly. I'm going to bring you some, Rebecca. I got a bunch. I made a lot, and I'm really the only one in the house that cares about it. It is good, Samantha. Yes, Karen. I hate eating on camera, but I'm hungry. Sheila says, I was set to go to LSU, but my mom died. Oh, right before you graduated high school. So I so I went to LA Tech so I could be close to home to help family. Kim Mulkey was on the same floor in my dorm. Who's Kim? Let me look up. Because I feel like that's somebody I should know, maybe. Oh, she played basketball. She's a coach. I know nothing. I see now. LSU coach. <laughs> yeah, Sheila, that's a young age to lose your mom. All right, y'all talk so y'all can't hear me too. <clears throat> Lady Texters were national champions. They were on, they were an exciting team. Really? So you really keep up with your basketball. Basketball is more so my husband's thing. I kind of just see what's going on here and there. All right, who in here is going to be doing this the stitch along just so I can see and Regina asks how many projects does everyone have going on right now me too many me too Regina one day I'm gonna pull out my um my whip bin and show y'all and maybe do something with something. <laughs> Emma says, me, you're doing the, um, it's okay if you're behind Amber. Rebecca says too many. Sheila says, thanks, everyone. Y'all are so sweet, and y'all are. <laughs> Debbie says, me too, Regina. <laughs> Martha, you don't have to answer it, but let us know. <laughs> Samantha, maybe a dozen. And then, do y'all uh, consider your projects done whenever the top is done, or is it not done until the whole until it's quilted and bound. Because I have a lot of tops that are not done. Rebecca says, I started writing all my projects down, then started getting anxiety from it, so I threw it away. I feel so much better. Rebecca, I did the same thing. I had, um, I had a little book, and it was supposed to be my quilt project book and my cross-stitch project book. 
No, thank you. I don't need to see that on paper. Alina has several in progress. Amber, I have managed to keep up with a quilting life block of the month, but I am already behind on Corey Yoder's. Um, I didn't do block of the month or Corey Yoder, but um, how many blocks did Corey come Corey Yoder come out with? I saw that she had the twenty nine of the strip blocks. Oh Lord, yo! I saw she had twenty nine of the strip blocks, but I didn't see anything after that. Having a lot is part of the creative journey. It is, Martha. Yay, unless you won. So Debbie, you don't finish you don't count it as done to his bomb. I kinda agree. Regina quilted and bomb. Alina says not done till you give it away. I can give it that. Debbie says, woohoo, LSU. Jane, I have a few finished tops waiting to be long arm quilted, but I only have one in progress. Jane, you you long arm on your own? Or do you send it off? Amber, same here. It is not done until it's quilted and bound. Just a 29 so far. Oh, okay. Y'all hear the kids laughing? I have a quilt top collection too, Sheila. My husband keeps saying, every time I do one of the uh, So Simply Roulettes, he's like, why are you not finishing it? I'm like, it's, do it's, it's done. It's going in the bin. In my baby quilts, I like to finish whenever I know who they're going to. So I could sew in a name, a name label. Uh, what else? Mary Jo says, I have multiple quilt tops that need quilt. Yeah, me too. I don't even have backings for a lot of them, most of them. Karen, I am, but won't start until next week. Okay. You got the whole month, Karen. And if you're behind, doesn't matter either. Oh, you send it off, Jane? Mm -hmm. Karen says she's an Aggie. Jane says, but I only piece one at a time. I won't let myself start new one until I finish piecing the kernel. Oh, no, Jane. I do it all at the same time. Amber says, oh, you think Karen is near you? <laughs> Wait, what, what did Martha say? I missed something. Oh, FSU. <laughs> if they have your daughter and all your money, then you got to go with them. Debbie says you have more discipline than her, uh, Jane, and me too, because, mm-mm. <laughs> Not a cult. What's up? Love you. Love you. Bye. Come on, itching to come on. Night bot is back, y'all. Nightbot. Nightbot X, if you learn your lesson. <laughs> you 
Yeah, Sheila. Nightbot and Martha got something going on. Martha, does he do, do all of this in Sean's lives? Rebecca, you finish your gnome. Now I got to think about how I want to finish it. You're going to finish it on the... Uh, Are you gonna finish it on the um embroidery machine? I still haven't gotten everything ready to try to quilt something on the long arm. Not the long arm. Quilt something on the embroidery. <laughs> Martha says, sorry, not night, but I'm happily married. Yes, post pics, Rebecca. Yo, I'm almost done with my snack. Y'all, I'm just chewing. Y'all gotta talk. <laughs> I actually started a video on this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna post it though since it's from February. Yeah, post it. It doesn't matter. Sheila, have you ever had Ritz cream cheese and cucumber? I don't know. But I do do cr cream cheese, cucumber, and um, everything bagel on bagels. Like I'll do a plain bagel, cream cheese, cucumber slices, and then shake some everything bagel on top. Love it. Good night, Amber. Bye. Yeah, Rebecca, it is good. Hey, Krista. And why you got me on that big TV, girl? Ooh, what are you finishing? And are you going to post it in the group? Y'all don't even know how much I love seeing the posts in the group. Seeing all the quilts and stuff. All the makes. I love it. Even... Why is there like a fly in here? Even the um the not quilty post. I love it all. Yeah, post it, Rebecca. Sheila, why am I on your big TV? I thought the game was on the big TV. And I was on the computer. Y'all can't be having me on that big TV. I think for April, I'm going to go back to um, Erica Arndt and do... I was doing the truck of the month, but I skipped March. But I think I'm going to do the house for April. I started them as Christmas gifts. I haven't got to see the kids yet, though, so I put it off, but I finally get to see them tomorrow, so now I'm hustling. Oh, that's how we do. That's how we all do. Yes, post them, though. I love it. Did y'all see Miss Jeanette's um, 
quilt that she sent me a picture of. It was beautiful from the shine on. Thank you, Martha. Martha said the uh, Facebook page is great. I love it. Like, I'm enjoying it so much. And I'm happy that everybody's being active and, like, posting stuff. The, the uh, group has not died yet. Hopefully it don't, but... I'm a procrastinator too, Krista. <laughs> yeah, Sheila. Her, uh, her version of Shine On with the traditional looking fabrics was beautiful. It's like not the type of fabric that I would generally choose, but it was beautiful. It was just so... Like doing a modern pattern with traditional fabrics. I love that. Sometimes so Becca, so, so Becca opens up her Facebook and then shares her screen when she is on live and we get to comment on everyone's posts during the live. Really? See, that's, I need to figure out on these lives how to do different things or I'm just going to not do different things. And keep it simple for now. But some of these people, they have the the angles. They're doing all kind of stuff. I don't know how to do all that. Karen, you just had some everything but the bagel hummus. Sounds wonderful. Like, I've been addicted to everything but the bagel seasoning for probably well over a year now. I eat it every single day. I put it on everything. They say if you eat too much of that, you can't pass a drug test. So I guess I probably couldn't pass a drug test. Because I eat way more than the average person. Sheila says, Rebecca needs to host another meetup. Yes, Rebecca needs to be the meetup person. Because I don't know how to do that either. Or maybe we can have like a certain night that we do that. I don't know. Sheila, you love it too? Maybe we do a... um. Oops. If we do a certain night with um the meet up with the chat thing in Facebook, even if like I can't make it or everybody can't make it, like whoever is there, I don't know how it works, but whoever is there can drop in. I don't know. We should pick a night. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a poll on Facebook in the group to see what night is best for everybody. Close my door. Found this on the ground. You see, that's why you shouldn't be crawling around on the ground in here. Just leave it right there. All right, close the door. Okay, bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. She found a, a pin on the ground. You can't trust can me have... to be crawling on the ground. What? Can I have my you got 30 minutes. Can I see if I can trust me? No. 
Close the door. We'll discuss this when I get off alive. I won't be long. Y'all know she got to make her appearance. Nightbot got you, Krista. <laughs> All right, yo. Apparently, the family is uh, demanding some attention. She is, Alina. <laughs> Those, um, we call them uh, sweater blankets. They love their sweater blankets. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here again. I love it. Our um, our lives are getting bigger and bigger, slowly but surely. But you know. The reg the usuals, the regulars are always here, and I love that. I appreciate all of y'all. And if you're watching this on replay, I appreciate you too. And y'all join the Facebook group, of course. And don't forget to hit the like button. How many likes do we have? We have 24 likes. We got 22 people in here, but I saw up to 30-something people. So somebody hasn't given a thumbs up. So before y'all leave, y'all hit the thumbs up. And if you're watching this on replay, y'all subscribe. Half of y'all are not subscribed. Why are y'all here and not subscribing? I don't know, but subscribe. Y'all have a good weekend, y'all. And y'all come back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, so Sampler Roulette. Uh, we'll be on live on, it's a premiere, so we'll be on the live chat I'll put a reminder in the group right before it happens so y'all come so we could discuss during uh, So Sample Roulette. But y'all all have a good night. Bye. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>